evaluation of integrals using Laplace transforms. How to evaluate an integral without using integration formula, using Laplace. That is this concept. Already we discussed one topic, Laplace transform of integral. That is, their limits are integral 0 to t. The topic is different. L of integral 0 to t that is. What is Laplace transform of integral we discuss. But now, how to evaluate an integral without using integration formula using Laplace. When limits are 0 to infinity. For this we are going to use the fundamental principle of Laplace transform, actual definition of Laplace transform which we discussed while introducing Laplace. So that one I am going to recall that one. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt is treated as L of f of t. So this one we are taking as the formula our principle to evaluate any integral with limit 0 to infinity using Laplace. So this is the principle we are going to use. This already we discussed. That is definition of Laplace transform of any function. So how we are going to apply this principle? How we are going to evaluate that integral using Laplace without using integration formulas? We are going to discuss with one example. See here, this is the question. Evaluate integral 0 to infinity e power minus 2t into sin t dt e power minus 2t into sin t dt using Laplace using Laplace using Laplace we need to evaluate that uh, integral value for that what I am saying in the solution First write the formula which we are going to use for evaluating this type of integrals, what I said just now, this one. Write as it is, that is the formula we are going to use. Integral, we know that, we know that integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt equal to l of f of t. Now, integral 0 to infinity keep e power minus st as it is write in the place of f of t what you are having here that one this one sin t e power minus t sin t dt equal to so here in the place of f of t what you are having in the place of f of t you are having sin t so here also in the place of f of t, we are going to, we are going to write sin t. So if you write sin t here, you know L of sin a t formula. L of sin a t equal to a by s square plus a square. Here a is 1. a is 1. That is 1 by s square plus 1 square. But this is the value for integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t sin t dt. But what we need? We need integral 0 to infinity e power minus 2t into sin t dt. That means in the place of s, if you write 2, you will get this integral. So I am going to replace s by 2. So if you write in the place of s2, what you will get? Integral 0 to infinity e power minus 2t sin t dt equal to 1 by 2 square plus 1. 1 by 2 square 4, 4 plus 1, 5. So this is the integral of e power minus 2t sin t dt when limits are 0 to infinity. So without using single integration formula, using Laplace easily we can evaluate integral 0 to infinity. For example, if you don't have like e power minus 2t, if you have integral 0 to infinity, how to evaluate? This is the case I am now explaining. Evaluate. Integral 0 to infinity cos a t minus cos b t by t dt using Laplace. So this one we are going to evaluate now without using Laplace. But 
you won't find e power e a t here. Then you need to assume you are having here e power minus zero into t because e power zero is one. Whenever you, you won't find like e power minus two t like previous problem, then you need to assume that you are having zero. That means after completion of problem at the end, you are going to replace s by zero. How we are going to do this? We will discuss now. First, write the formula which we are going to use. Integral zero to unity e power minus s t into f of t dt equal to l of f of t. Now, integral zero to unity key p power minus s t like that. So, what is the leftover term? This one, no doubt, as it is. Cos e t minus cos b t by t dt. So now, in the place of f of t, you are having this total term. This is the term you are having. So that term, we are going to write in the place of f of t here. So in the place of f of t, we are going to write cos a t minus cos b t by t. So if you have in division t, if you have in division t, we are going to use division by t rule in Laplace. What is division by t rule in Laplace? Integral s to infinity, l of cos a t minus cos b t ds. What is Laplace transform of cos a t? Laplace transform of cos a t is s by s square plus a square. Laplace transform of cos b t s by s square plus b square ds. So whenever we have cos, I said this is the integration standard integration formula we are going to use to integrate Laplace transform of cos. Integral f dash of x by f of x dx is equal to log f of x. So here you get, you need f dash of s in numerator. Differentiation of s square is 2s. So multiply and divide the numerator with 2. Then you will get 1 by 2 log s square plus a square minus log s square plus b square. Limits from s to infinity. So if you write infinity, infinity case will be 0. So ignore infinity case. Write in the place of s, s. Then you will get same term. But here, this minus becomes plus, minus into minus plus. So you can treat this one as a, this is b. Log a minus log b, log a by b. Log a square plus b square by a square plus a square. But this is value of e power minus st. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into cos a t minus cos p t by t value. But we need integral 0 to infinity cos a t minus cos b t by t only. We don't need this one. So to make this one 1, simply write in the place of s 0, you will get the answer. Integral 0 to infinity cos a t minus cos b t by t d t equal to, write in the place of s 0, what you will get? 1 by 2 log a square by b square. If you want, you can write this one a by b whole square. Log a power m can be written as m log a. You can take 2, 2 here. 2, 2 get cancelled. Final answer, log a by b. So a square by b square can be written as a by b whole square. The 2 you can keep it as coefficient. 2, 2 get cancelled. You will get log a by b as answer. Very clear how to evaluate integrals using Laplace.